Okay, this will be a challenging one, but it looks interesting. I wonder what we're going to do with this one. I think size-wise we're going to make it going at 200 for some reason. And I'm going to reverse the colours. See if we can make this look good. Background colour, what shall it be? Um, gonna make it yellow. Actually, we're not gonna make it all the way. But it's an interesting product. I've never seen it until today. And they sell them at Woolies. So we'll see what this Woolworths buy is. See, I don't know what it, it should taste really nice. Um, it's an unusual product from what I can tell. Anyway, what is it? What is this mystery product? It is Simba smoked beef flavoured potato chips. Like a yeah, lion Simba. Bit like the line on Lion King, but it looks a bit different. Can't have a trademark of Disney or Pixar. I think it's Disney, I don't know. So, but basically, that's meant to be a line like Simba. So, let's see how Simba looks after we've treated it like we have. Simba, interesting. I've never heard of it before. I've seen it as a pack, packet of chips. And it says it roars with flavour. That looks a bit overwhelming, that yellow. Uh, nice looking shape. And I like the way it says roars, the way it says roars with flavour. Even though I don't normally like showing the trademarks and shit. So I'm actually wondering. We're going to just switch it back to positive. I don't think this one's going to work that well as a negative image to be honest so we're just going to switch it all back to positive and we're just going to give it a background color we're going to make it magenta and oh, fuck this user interface this is Konica Minolta's doing this stupid industrial or commercial design I'm so over it folks I don't like the way they've made this product so shitty uh, just so they can make a little bit of money getting you know, honestly, it's not a good product, folks. Uh, but what can you do? You know, you don't have anything on the market that's any good. So that's our chips. We're going to try that again and see if we can make it look good. But that's that's our, our company, Cornic and Minolta, and it's money fucking rorts. I've got no respect for the company. I've got no respect for the status quo within the industry. It's not my cup of tea, folks. I'm not interested in in helping greedy people. Anyway, that looks interesting. I'm thinking it would have looked better without the magenta. <laughs> but it looks good. I'm thinking now we're going to use that. Uh, we're going to just put this aside. We're going to scoff them down at a later date. Uh, we're going to use this as our master copy. I'm actually thinking we're going to try and remove some of that magenta. I hate it when I do put in a background colour and it doesn't it doesn't do the image any justice even though it, my intentions were good so it looks as if the magenta was was a f fucking pain in the ass Add addition. Uh, I think we're going to switch off the red we're just going to lighten it up anyway. We've got to lighten it. We don't want it too dark. So we're just going to lighten it all the way. And contrast is going to stay in the middle. So let's see if we can make this uh, Simba character look even better. So we're just going to line it up and overlap the edges to get rid of whatever ugly borders could be there, could be on this image, especially with enlargement. So let's just put that down and we're just going to print this off. But Simba is an interesting name for a 
a packet of chips. I've never seen this before, and I just figured that would make a good demo before I scoff them. So, so, so good, to, good to demo and good to eat, in other words. Yeah, we still have the ugly magenta in the image. Uh, we can't do anything about it. Uh, wondering if we're going to stretch it along the horizontal. We'll soon find out what we're going to do with this. Uh, the horizontal is going to be 170% and 70% in the, in the Vertical is going to remain. I wish I didn't put that fucking magenta in. <laughs> it's made him look a bit sunburnt. Well, I don't think lines. Oh, lines probably do get sunburnt on the, on the, on the um, snout. But you know, yeah. Oh yeah, it is close to. It's kind of like the snout. I was thinking the nose specifically. So I'm thinking that's going to be the centre of our job. But apart from the magenta tint on that face, I do like the way we've done this. But at least the magenta looks like it's sort of a part of the image now. It doesn't quite look like it's sort of uh, just a patchy sort of a, an appearance. It looks like it's part of, the, part of the print, almost, you could say. So it's our second piece of Simba. So yeah, it's interesting um, piece of, well I don't know how, how big the company is, I don't know, who knows, it might be a big chip company that makes this, but sometimes big companies do that, they make, they make their own spin-off brands that are really, that look really um, convincingly uh, like a small company but you see it on the on the back of it a small print of the logo of the company and the name of the company and think oh shit it's them again <laughs> so let's see I, I think I did put it on mirror image I might have forgotten uh, no I didn't I didn't remember oh I did it automatically maybe that's why I felt like I forgot uh, so anyway we're just going to put these pieces together I'm wondering if it would have looked better without the magenta glow. Um, maybe it wouldn't have. Maybe it was a good thing I put the magenta in. Simba the lion, eh? And the chips. Anyway, that's interesting now. I think Simba looks interesting. I think we can call this little demo quits.